welcome to Coffee and Tools. This edition is Texas. This is a cool property that's been abandoned and I've got permission to go on the property today with the landowner and take a look around. Uh, there's quite a story here but there's a lot of interesting secrets and we're going to discover them today so why don't you guys come along for the ride and just check all this out because this is going to be pretty cool I think. You're going to hear a lot of ooh but it's, it's pretty cool. Let's go. Uh, to begin with, uh, of course, it's uh, heavily security gated in. Uh, I'm not going to give you the address. We'll just say it. it's just that it's in Texas, and we're going to have to climb over the fence to get here. So hang on. Now, there may be some cutting on that one. All right, so uh, first thing, there's a lot of flooding over here, a lot of water in this area over here, but uh, let's take a walk down and just got over the fence and we're gonna start the driveway walk uh, I can see a car back in there and a structure but uh, a lot of flooding up the front here a lot of water and we're gonna sort of take a walk down through and just kind of cruise it there's actually two uh, property structures here that are actually joined somehow because there's a little pump house over there but uh, down here down the driveway. Oh, the other thing I got to, of course, is uh, keep an eye out for snakes. But uh, we'll walk along the driveway here and uh, see if we can get up towards the house. Man, look at the flooding. There's a lot of water here uh, around these trees. But uh, looks like an interesting piece of property. But uh, check this out, guys. Uh, just totally all just overgrown. I don't think the place was empty that long. I'd I'd have to do some research again back on the uh, the properties as to you know when it was all abandoned or whatever. But uh, looks like they left a car here. Yeah, there's uh, no tag on the car or anything, but uh, it looks like an interesting uh, find. Always nice to find a little Honda just laying around the woods. Uh, last year on the sticker there looks like uh, 2012 or something. So, yep, been here a while by the looks of it. And yeah, there's there's no tag or anything on it. So, huh. and there was some kind of a pen over there. It looks like uh, I don't know what that structure there is. I, I think that's uh, for like rabbits or something. Uh, let's take a look over here at the garage. There's a three-car garage. Looks pretty massive because they've got a window up there in the second floor even. And it says we're on camera, which we uh, I don't think we are, but we might be. I don't think we're on camera. But let's take a look and see what we can find. Yeah. Ooh. Oh wow. Ah, uh, there's a uh, yeah. There's a car in here. A lot of junk too. But look at this stuff just thrown down and every direction there's just stuff laying everywhere here man what a cool place though there's uh it's finished it's it's got drywall in here automatic door openers uh looks like some shelving somebody used to do some work here or something and it's a large two-car part of the garage right here in the structure sort of yeah, it's going to be dark back there damn i don't really have a flashlight with me go figure uh I think it's a Mazda. <laughs> I'm not really sure. And a lot of clothes. And look at that. There's an old. Let's take a walk over there for a second. Good grief. That is a beautiful old uh, roll top desk. In uh, editing, I'll see if I can, uh, you know, bring this up a little brighter so you can see it. There's also some really cool industrial shelving in the corner here. A lot of really neat old stuff laying, just laying everywhere. Uh, got questions about what that was for. They've got a, a raft, but I think we'll find an answer to that later. And yeah, lots of lots of junk laying here. Uh, I don't know, like I said, when exactly this became uh, 
abandoned so I, I you know we'll get into the reasons behind it now this room back here is really dark so I'm gonna take a, a visual on it and believe it or not I can't even see with the camera but what I'm gonna do is in post I'll see if I can pump the film light up a little bit on this clip so we'll just do a clip and then you know we'll see if we can get the light up uh, in, in uh, editing and that way we can see a little better there's a an AC system or something laying here looks like a lawnmower there's a whole uh, shop full of tools and stuff laying back in here that again it, it almost looks like uh, okay granted it looks a little trash like they left in a hurry or something but you know it also kind of looks like they just put the tools down and walked away another metal uh, shelving in this corner here and there's um, there's some ducking or something for either AC or heat I might have to ask for some opinions on that. There's a way to, there's a door over here. Let's see if I can get to this door. Maybe can bring some more light in too. Uh, the door opens in or out. It's locked, that's cool. Oops, oh, there we go. There, yeah, you can see a little bit better there. Whoa. <laughs> there's a tree right here. Hello, Mr. Tree. Uh, let's see if we can take a look around the back. The back side here. Uh, I really don't even know what that is. But, okay, there's a huh. There's a really strange overhang back here. It's a little bit flooded out back here. You really need to drain the water. I don't know what's going on with the water thing, but uh, yeah, it's quite a quite a piece of property they got here. Okay, I'm just going to see if I can lock that door back up. And uh, yeah. Phew. Wow. Okay. So now I gotta. I can't see because I don't have the flashlight with me. But uh, I'm making my way back through the. There's the whole floor is just covered in. Uh, I guess we'll say paperwork and rubble and I don't know what else. Just there's all kinds of really cool cupboards back here. This is like a little. It's a large room, but it's like a studio room back here. It's pretty cool. Okay, we'll go back through here and. Uh, Let's go upstairs. And there's some black uh, black plates here. If you if you if you're into black plates, uh, yeah, I've seen those before somewhere. Interesting. Okay, there's a there's a an attic here. So let's go up and have a look at the attic. And whoa, what is that? Holy moly! This uh this looks like an AC handling unit or something. And there's ductwork. Uh, yeah, there's there's ductwork and everything up in here and shelving. There's nothing up here though. I mean, I guess physically uh, they took everything out or whatever they stored up in here. But look at the ductwork up in the. This is the garage. The, the huh. and some big old windows. Look like they might be open. I can't tell. Uh, and there's a suit there with waiters uh, hanging. Uh, that's kind of yeah, different. Okay, let's see if we can go back down. But uh, it's all insulated. Wow. Let's take a look downstairs and see what else we can find on this property. This is this place is amazing. <clears throat> okay, guys, I'm coming down. Hang on. <clears throat> uh, don't know whether to try to put that up or not. But yeah, there's just I don't know. When you leave a place, how do you I don't know. I think it looks like they just dropped everything and ran. Mm, yep. Okay, we're gonna go back outside and take a look. Okay. Wow. Uh, a little bit of damage from the local Yokos, whatever. It looks like they kicked some panels in or whatever went on with that. Uh, it's a big three-car garage. That's a pump house, I believe, back there. And then over here, they've got a bunch of really cool stuff. Looks like a wagon, and I have to keep an eye out for snakes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, the snakes need to keep an eye out for me. How's that sound? Looks like there was some kind of, He had something going on here. I just don't know what that would be. Looks like it was some tarp and like a, some posting and stuff. Maybe he had some plans for the future. I really can't tell at this point. Oh, I'm getting caught up in the weeds here trying to hang on to me. Okay, let's uh, let's move along and uh, here's some 
There's some kind of really cool flower bed right here. Uh, I don't know what it is. It's, uh, yep, it's got a drain pipe or something here and some water or something. Uh, some kind of landscaping going on. And uh, it looked like it was really pretty in its day. And of course a mushroom that's half knocked over. But what a fascinating place. And look at this uh, plant here. <laughs> it looks like it's doing just fine. Okay, now we're gonna get to the big part of the story here. This, this I don't really know what it is. Uh, anybody who wants to make a comment and guess on it, go ahead and have at it because I don't know what it was. Uh, some kind of fenced in pen with uh, screen. And I got, I see these uh, thing here with turtles. So I wonder, uh, wonder if they're raising turtles. I mean, can you do that or would you do that? I, I really don't know. But it looks like there was quite a, quite a bit of uh, action going on in here with they were keeping some kind of animals back here but uh okay now we're going to get into the the meat of the matter uh the house burnt down yeah and it must have been a hot one guys take a look at this place this is the house that was because it's not here anymore but all the metal look at that uh, claw looks like a claw iron tub and you can see the the, uh, yeah, even the feet look like they're bent over or something from a massive amount of heat. Uh, looks like there was some other kinds of mechanical or metal structures involved with the home. Uh, satellite, di <laughs> that's a satellite dish, okay. Uh, some, again, some kitchen uh, shelving or something maybe. Uh, I can't even figure out what that is. Maybe, a, uh, I'm not sure, looks like it's heavy metal, whatever it was. There's an oven, I believe. It's all burned up. Just the whole place, look at that. that. This whole house right here was a large house. I think it was 23 or 2400 square foot. It was all burned up. There's a, a hot water tank and a uh, water conditioner. And there's just a pile of stuff here. Now, from what I could tell, and this, this is still a property, it's still running back this way. There's, there's five acres here all together, uh, approximately. Maybe a little more, maybe a little less, but we'll take it further. There's the AC handler. It looks uh, like it got hot, but it didn't tear up real bad. And uh, let's let's see if we can go. Now, there's a couple of there's a fenced area here. I can't imagine uh, maybe a dog thing or something. Uh, sort of hard to tell on that one. And then you come over here. Oh, look at the tree. That's damaged from the from the home that had the fire, I guess. Yeah. It, Wow, that's strange looking. Look at the top of this tree. It looks really bizarre. Look at that. Yeah. But the, uh, there's also, oh, there's water over here too. Uh, this place is a little flooded out, but yeah, we're going to keep exploring because uh, I saw something online here and I, I kind of can't, I guess you could say I can't envision what I'm seeing, but. Let's see if we can walk across this log, and which we are doing. We're getting across. Cool, cool, good, good, good. Uh, back here, uh, according to the uh, satellites and stuff, looked at, uh, and there's some kind of, I guess a raised flower bed is what I'm going to take a run on that one, or garden, raised garden. There's a lot of grass is really thick back here, and there's a pond. Yeah, but the, according to what I saw, there's two ponds. And a bridge. <laughs> yeah. And a little uh, dog. I don't think he'll bite. Nah. Not made of concrete. But look at this. Check this out. There's a little pond right here in front of me. And then there's a little bridge that goes across between the two ponds. The other pond is larger from what I can see on the satellite dish. So let's see if we can get around and take a look at that. This place is just amazing. I'm telling you. It's got all kinds of... Uh, secrets i wonder they had an electric fan in there i'm kind of wondering what that was all about apparently some kind of animal they must have been big on having or raising animals or something and then going back here looks like there was some more stuff because the ground was kind of flattened right in here but it's it's hard to say and the, the dog hasn't moved so i guess we're we're doing good <laughs> and let's get to this pond this bridge and have a look at the bridge. Oh, look at this. There's huge, huge rock. Because the other thing that I did catch on that's 
I, maybe that's part of it. There's supposed to be some kind of a waterfall system here. Uh, maybe that's part of it. I, I, I don't know because there's a light here and stuff, but I wouldn't think that would be part of it, but it's hard to say. Now this is the lower uh, back part of the part of this property. And I'll just kind of give you a, I guess a little vision, but back in here, and I've seen some deer, deer marks back here. So yeah, they definitely would hide out back here. Why not? I mean, it's a nice thick, you know, wooded area. In fact, somebody's been digging in the ground right here. Uh, I can't imagine who that was. Let's see if I can get through here. <clears throat> I'm trying to make my way to the bridge. Oh yeah, we're getting there. And there's, a tr there's always gotta be a tire someplace. Maybe it was a swing, I doubt it. Some kind of big heavy, uh, yeah, heavy tire, huh. Anyways, uh, we get up on, yeah, there's the bridge. We're at it. and. We're gonna go up on the bridge. There's some huge rocks right here too. Great big boulder sizes. And then there's the bridge. And the, that feels pretty sturdy. Eh, it's not looking great, but it's really dried out. But it feels solid, so I think I'm okay. I'm gonna come out on the bridge and uh, take a look at the big pond. Or Yeah, it's kind of overgrown. I think things got away from them a little bit here. But uh, over there, the property would go over there and then just somewhere past that tree line would be the fence where the property continues. And it continues up that way, uh, up into that area. There's at least another, I guess, a couple of hundred feet of property back past these wooded areas that you can't even see into because they're so thick. But uh, look at this. This is actually a really secret, important little spot here on this property. I, I'll bet there's a lot of hours of uh, sitting back here and kicking around for the day now unfortunately I don't think I can go the other way I was gonna continue but it looks pretty uh, I don't know looks pretty rough well let's try it I'm, I'm going across the bridge and see what I can do with that yeah there is uh, supposed to be fish I think in this pond too but I I don't know that it's been abandoned for so long and nobody's been around so I I would say there's there's probably still some fish but not a lot of fish because they haven't been fed and who knows? Uh, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff here. I don't know what all that is. A bunch of trash laying right by the water. Maybe it has something to do with, uh, looks like fishing rod stuff or something, maybe. Hard to say. And a box. No idea, again, what the box would be for, but there's a lot of property back in there. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna go back in this area to even try to get in there because it's, it looks a little too rough right now. <laughs> But uh, I'm gonna see if I can make this. Uh, this path does not look great, but let's make a, make our way through and see what we can get. There is just a just an amazing piece of property here. Uh -oh. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, and uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, <laughs> this is, I guess we'll take the what looks like almost a path through here. It ain't great, but it'll work. I'm sure glad there's not a lot of ticks around here. I don't know why there isn't. Apparently, uh, somebody said the red ants eat them or something. I, I don't know. Uh, might be right. Uh, psh, who knows? But uh, wow, what an amazing look at that. I mean, you can't even see it from here because it's so heavily overgrown, but we could see it from the satellite pictures before I came on the property. And uh, when I saw the ponds here with the bridge, I says, man, I, I got to see that. That is, that's got to be crazy. And there's, yeah, and there's the old power for the, the house that uh, burnt. I can't see where those lines went to, but I would assume, I guess the power shut off and the lines are left there. I don't see where the line was, uh, where it came over to, so, but maybe that came right from all the way over there, all the way over here to the house or something maybe. I, I can't tell for sure, it's kind of hard to say. But uh, what an amazing piece of property they got here. I think it's, uh, I guess the, the thing is, here's the, here's the deal. <laughs> and I'm just gonna stop here in front of this mess. <laughs> just cut off for a second. Okay, I'm back. Uh, you think I should buy it? <laughs> it and take this on? That's gonna be, you know, that's gonna be some work. But I think the potential here, the, if you clean it up, I think it would be, it could be amazing property. 
the slab uh, where the house was, I I don't know. Maybe could relocate the house a little bit somewhere else uh, in here. But um, what an amazing piece of property this is. And uh, just scanning around, it's really overgrown. If you if you cut everything down, and you could see it, you know, I think it would be a lot more interesting to see. Let's see walk along here a little bit but uh yeah what an amazing piece and then there, it's, there's flattened area right there and i'm not really sure it's right there i'm not sure what that might have been but let's let's sign out and sign back in the other way okay we're back we're still passing the uh burned up house but what a fascinating place a lot of fire damage on the trees even like that one right there so she must have been one hot fire. What I don't understand, I guess, is, uh, yeah, it, this property is, it's kind of glitchy. I'll try to explain it to you guys. So, but um, if I get about a hundred thousand likes, maybe I'll, maybe I'll buy it. But here's the deal: <laughs> this property is not for sale unless you buy the property next door. Then this is included with the package. So <laughs> I gotta, I gotta really. Uh, think that over, but uh, I think it's it's uh, I don't know might be a go. There's some beautiful old gardens that were in here Really a shame. What the what the devil is that? That's uh, No, it's just some cardboard. Oh, this was a looks like a fire pit there man Pretty hard to say what that was now. It's There's an old uh, piece of crock pot thing. Was, is it busted? Actually, I can't tell I thought it was broke when I first looked at it. Maybe it's just plastic or something like that and it melted. There's a, ah, there's a little river or gully thing down there where there might have been some water streaming through to drain some of this. But look at this garden area here. And I bet you this whole place was absolutely gorgeous in its day. And of course we've got our, uh, well, it was a mushroom, yeah. And this was all, yeah, they've even got beautiful rock in here. Where they had uh, done some some kind of landscaping they had a little bridge walkway over what used to be looks like it must have been a a river maybe no can't tell this obviously had water in it at one time and it was designed that way there's a board thrown down over here i don't know if i can get to the that, that would be the uh, well pump house there and looks like some more hoses over there I don't know. I'm going to let, raise the camera so you guys can see it better than I can right now because I can't see over top of all this brush but, uh, and uh, whatever this stuff is. If it's three, leave it be. Oh boy. Oh boy. Nope. I guess I shouldn't have touched that. I don't know. Anyways, let's see if we can make our way. And that, you know, this is the crazy part. Oh man. Um, this, what I just walked through and it's showing you. Oh look, a frog. Uh, is half, half the property that I just saw or just showed you guys. Look at this down here. There's a, <laughs> there's a little, a little frog. Uh, again, is this plastic or? Well, it's hard to say. And yeah, some hose. Oh, a bunch of pottery stuff. Uh, yeah, somebody was doing some serious. Uh, planning here with uh, what have you so what an, uh, what an amazing p piece of property I like it I, I think it's fascinating because uh, there must have been some you know interesting history here uh, besides the pump house and the three car well banged up three car garage which needs a little work but uh, not a big deal uh, I don't know what do you guys think uh, I'll stop here so, uh, what do you think? Should I, uh, should I, should I, should I buy it? <laughs> if I do, <laughs> you know where I'm going to be living here for a while. I'm going to be cutting grass and cutting trees, and I don't know what else to do. Them, but uh, and trying to figure out this drainage thing with the water. But uh, and then you got to build a house. I can do that. Hey, thanks for watching, Coffee and Tools. And let's see, let's see how this video does. It's pretty wild. Bye-bye.